Well, this here is the Maruti Suzuki Invicto. And when you see this car for the first time in flesh, this car will immediately remind you of Shah Rukh Khan's movie, Rab Ne Banadi Jodi. And the reason for that, of course, is that just like uh, in that movie when Shah Rukh Khan wears a pair of sunglasses, uh, he becomes Raj. And when he takes them off, he becomes Surinder. Uh, even this car is very similar to the Toyota Innova High Cross. In fact, you won't be able to tell if it's the High Cross or the Suzuki from the side profile or even from the rear. The biggest differences only are on the front. Uh, so let me tell you what the differences are. And also let me tell you whether you should consider buying this car because the pricing of this car is slightly cheaper. Now from the back, it looks very similar, absolutely similar to that car. Uh, the lamp design, this little bit here, everything is very similar compared to the Innova High Cross. From the side, the biggest difference is that this car uses much smaller wheels, only 17 inches compared to the 18 inches on that car. Of course, the Innova also uses 17 inches on the GX version. Uh, but apart from that, the side profile is exactly the same. Uh, on the front, that's where the biggest changes are served. Well, if you see the face of this car, uh, you'll of course get this uh, huge grille, this double slat grille. And the big change on the front, of course, is that uh, you don't get any sensor over here because this car is not running any ADAS technology. So it doesn't have that ADAS kit on it. And that's the reason why it's slightly cheaper, more affordable than the Innova High Cross. Uh, the headlight design is more or less the same, but the bumper and the grille are completely different. As you can see, the face of this car, I think I prefer the looks of this one compared to the Innova. But what do you think? You can let me know in the comment section below. Now we've seen what this car looks on the outside. Let's quickly jump inside and tell you the changes on the interiors and how it is. And after that, we'll take it out for a drive and tell you what makes this car so special. Rabne banadi chori ek cheni ek hathkhori. Well, now I'm in the backseat of the Invicto and this is a very good place to be. Now, let me tell you the big difference compared to the Innova. The big difference, of course, is that you don't get those Ottoman seats that you do get on the Innova High Cross. Uh, you don't get those seats where, you know, the lower part comes up and you can stretch your feet and keep them flat. Uh, but that said, that's a very smart way of cutting costs and you, of course, benefit from the cost cutting. A lot of people don't want those seats, but want, uh, you know, something which is just as comfortable. So that's one way of cutting costs and that's something that Maruti Suzuki has done very smartly indeed. Now, even though this car does not have those Ottoman seats, uh, the seat comfort is still very good, it's exemplary, and I think these are the best seats in the business on any car. 10 lakhs, 12 lakhs, uh, 20 lakhs, up to I think 50 lakhs, these are the best seats on any car. And this car can actually shame a couple of cars, or some cars, twice its price in the sedan segment or even in the premium luxury SUV segment. It really is that good. Uh, you can, of course, move the seats both in the front and you can slide them all the way at the back. And you can also change the backrest angle. That's something which the Innova has always been very famous for. And of course, the armrest, you can fold it away if you don't want to use it and you want to maybe store a big uh, box over here or some luggage. And of course, you also get this tray, which you can uh, keep your you know beverages and maybe a tablet. And when you keep the tablet here, you can put a fire and charge it using these two USB type C's. Over here, you of course see uh, your own climate controls on this car has two lamp control zones, one for the front and one for the back. And uh, what you also can see is that the floorboard is completely flat. Yes, the floorboard on this car is completely flat, which means that you can easily stretch your feet like this, like this, any which way you want. Uh, you get the AC vents over here, which is also a big benefit because the air comes directly to your face. And uh, unlike a lot of cars which offer them here, it doesn't affect your knees. And of course, you also get these blinds where you can just pull them up like this and sit here like the boss all day long. This is a fantastic place to be if you want to sign those deals uh, because it really cocoons you from the world outside. If you are a crorepati and you want to sign a couple of deals with your managers or maybe with your business partner, this is an excellent place to be. You can keep your chilled beverage over here, have a sip of that and ask your manager or your, you know, deal partner to sign that paper and he'll be very happy to do it because the seat uh, is very comfortable. I'll give the back seat of this car a very strong score of 10. Out of 10 really is very good. Now let's jump into the last row and see how good that really is. Well, so now I'm in the last row of the Invicto seats and as you can see, headroom is quite good. Uh, knee room also is decent. Now this seat has been pushed uh, halfway to its back position. So there's still uh, some margin in terms of space. I can of course move it a little bit more in the front 
and now I get much better knee room. Uh, but my height for reference is 5'10". If your height is about 5'5 five, five or 5'6, five, you'll be very happy in these seats because these seats offer you good overall space. Headroom as well, knee room is quite sufficient. You get a couple of beverage holders over here and a couple over here. You also get your own AC vents on both sides, which give you very strong throw of hair. And of course, you can also uh, use these handlebars over here to just, you know, grab onto them. Uh, and you also get a 12 volt charging point just in case you have kids over here who are always on their iPads and, you know, tablet devices. So their uh, equipment will always be fully charged and they won't bother you on that long highway trip. What you'll also enjoy is the fact that the floorboard is completely flat. So whoever's sitting here has a lot of place to stretch his feet. How officially it's a three seater, you get three headrests, but uh, ideally if there's somebody who's uh, got the girth of my size and you know shape and size then two will be best uh, three is good if you're about you know 50 odd kilos and very slim then three is okay but uh, someone of my shape and size best to keep two otherwise there'll be a lot of jostling for elbow room even then very impressed with the last row of seats i'll give it a good score of nine out of ten I'm sure by now all of you are aware that Budmo are the all-in expert when it comes to spare parts and the best point is that they have the spare parts for all vehicles available in India. So even if your car is out of production now, maybe you have a large generation model, even then they have the spare part available, they have the entire catalogue and the best point is that uh, they have the same spare part from a host of different component makers which gives you great flexibility in the pricing overall. So check them out today, check out the app, it's available both for iOS as well as Android devices and also check out the website for the latest schemes as well as offers. Well, so I'm inside the Maruti Suzuki in Victor Hau and the big difference compared to the Innova High Cross is the fact that uh, you get this interior completely in black. It's an all black interior with a little bit of bronze elements to break the monotony of black. Of course, a lot of bronze over here, a little bit of bronze over here and of course around the AC vents and on the doors. Uh, so people who don't want that burgundy uh, that you do get on the Innova High Cross or that deep fine red, they will prefer this interior because some people don't like that color. They will definitely prefer this interior. Uh, the other big difference, of course, is that uh, you don't get JBL speakers inside this cabin like you do get on the Innova High Cross, uh, but you do get a very good sound system. You do get uh, six speakers and the sound quality, which I heard is quite good. It's not uh, anything to complain about. So it is quite good. The touchscreen also is the same. So you get all, uh, you know, the elements that you get on the Innova, like a 360 camera, Apple CarPlay and an auto. And of course, other equipment includes cool front seats. Uh, first time for Maruti electric Hand brake with auto hold function, different driving modes, ESP, automatic headlamps, paddle shifters, and of course, cruise control is available as well. Now, the gauges are also very similar half analog and half digital. The seat comfort is very good, very good seats on this car, just like on the Innova. And of course, cool front seats, as I just mentioned, something which a lot of customers will really appreciate, especially on a hot and summery day like it is today when your back gets that, you know cool effect from the AC that's something you'll really like what you'll also like is the practicality because you get this huge glove box it's got a nice soft uh, opening to it which gives you a sense of luxury you of course get 12 volt charger nice tray over here where you can keep pods and hens big beverage holders a huge box over here just below your rest and it can accommodate at least 20 bottles of this size really is very big and of course the door bins are also large enough to house those big one liter bottles the driver's side seat is electrically adjustable uh, that's something good and of course you do get memory function as well and the steering wheel adjusts both for rake as well as for reach which means that it's very easy to find a nice and commanding driving position inside the Invicto so overall I have to say uh, that this car really has got everything going for itself and I can't find any reason to complain inside the cabin of the new Invicto well, let's really show you the boot of this car and uh, this is of course a power tailgate which really means you don't have to put in a lot of effort into it and that's a very good thing because this car is expensive. It's about almost 30 lakh rupees. Uh, now once you open it, you'll see that there's absolutely no loading sill and the car is very very high from the ground. It is high but it's not very high up so you don't have to use your back uh, too much into it. You can easily slide in and slide out stuff from it and of course with all the rows up, I'll pull this seat up even with all the rows up, uh, there's decent amount of space in the boot, so you can easily accommodate at least a couple of big bags over here without too much fuss. Of course, if you want to accommodate more stuff, uh, you can drop the seat down 
use this car as a five seater and of course uh, keep a couple of big bags here, couple of big bags here. So at least four or five big bags can easily go into the boot of this car. And of course there's a little bit of space over here as well, a bit of a tray which you can move and then you get a nice area where you can keep some odds and ends, maybe some stuff uh, which you want to hide away from the kids, especially maybe some toys which your aunt or your you know, Masi has got from Canada, you can hide it away over here. Of course, uh, so much space means that it's good news for people like me who are married. In case your mother-in-law is coming to stay with you for at least a month or maybe two, then her entire luggage can easily be accommodated inside the car. So it's a very good, deep and spacious boot. Eight and a half out of 10. And now I'll close it using this button over here because as I said, it is a power tailgate. So you don't have to put too much of an effort into it. Uh, now you all know that this car is essentially based on the Toyota Innova High Cross. Yes, it's basically the same car and Maruti just changed the badges. That's what you might think. But no, they have uh, worked on the suspension and they've also worked on the steering wheel. The steering wheel is much lighter compared to this uh, on this car compared to the Innova High Cross. So that's something uh, which you will really appreciate immediately once you set to drive this car. The other thing which you will immediately notice is that uh, this car's ride is definitely better than it is on the you know high cross. So those are two big areas where uh, you know you can feel the difference. It's not a big difference in terms of the lightness or the weight or even on the ride comfort, but there's a marked difference and it is immediately visible on this car. So those are two areas where this car is again different. I already showed you the difference on the outside and the interiors and some of those things, but these two areas also make this car slightly different why you should consider buying this car also is because uh, i think the, this car looks really good on the outside it's a very good looking car uh, it doesn't matter which angle you look at it it looks very well balanced looks very well proportioned and definitely better than the innova high cross because the innova high cross seems to look like a proper mpv this one does look like an sv from some angles and in fact because the face of this car is very similar to the xl6 and the grand vitara so that's why this car i think looks slightly better and definitely gives you that suv look and that suv feel so that's a big reason why i should buy it the other big reason why i should buy it is because of the fuel efficiency yes this car's fuel efficiency now we know a lot of people who have uh, the innova high cross petrol hybrid stock hybrid and they always claim that they get fuel efficiency figures in excess of 18 or 19 kpl on the highway and the city they almost get 20 sometimes uh, so that's one Another area where this car does really well and something that you will truly appreciate about this car. Another big reason why you should buy it, of course, uh, apart from these few reasons. Also, what's very good about this car is the overall uh, ride comfort. It's exemplary and the seating comfort also is generally very good. What you'll also like and why you should also buy it, maybe over the Innova High Cross, is simply because this car is much more affordable. Now, you might say, I don't care about 2 lakh rupees, but uh, remember, those two lakh rupees or two and a half lakh rupees will end up being, becoming a lot more if you invest it somewhere and also that kind of money you can use to fuel up the car for about uh, maybe five years till you keep it and then resell it so that's another big positive and another big reason why you should buy this car now another highlight another big reason uh, is of course the fact that uh, this car sells from the nexa range and Maruti Suzuki network is the best in the business when it comes to after sales, servicing, spare parts, sales, warranties and stuff like that. So there are no issues about that as well and it will give you total peace of mind factor as well in the long run. Well, so what is my verdict with the Maruti Suzuki Invicto? Well, this car really is the best of both worlds. It offers you Toyota's reliability, but it also offers you Maruti Suzuki's uh, long and very extensive uh, dealership network and after sale support. Not only that, it also offers you very good value because remember, it's about two to three lakh rupees cheaper compared to the Toyota Innova. Yes, it does get the ADAS features with this car miss out on, but a lot of people never end up using ADAS. So for them, it really is a useless feature. So it really is the best of everything. It's the best of both worlds. And in short, what I'm trying to say is that if you're in the market for an MPV, and if you want the best MPV, then simply close your eyes and buy this car. It also offers you very good luxury. So in case uh, you're planning to buy a European sedan, uh, which is in the premium segment, I would suggest you avoid that, save some cash and buy this car instead, because it offers you just as good as luxury in terms of seat comfort, as well as ride comfort than those 
European sedans out there. And of course, it will not burn a hole in your pocket because fuel efficiency also is really very impressive. So I'll give this car a very strong score of 92 out of 100. It really is an opener and it's a fantastic product and a great package from Haruti Suzuki. It's bye for now and thanks so much for watching this video.